Well, I'm here to give you the actual truth about how, what you need to buy a house. So stick with me for about a minute here. All right, before we get going real quick, I'm Paul Ruxenis, your Cleveland real estate agent. Please like and subscribe. It helps your channel tremendously. And also call, text, or email regarding anything real estate in Greater Cleveland. I got you covered. Okay, so the number one thing to do when buying a house is talk to someone like me, a professional real estate agent. The reason why that's so important is you need someone that knows the lay of the land, knows the areas, uh, knows whether you need to build a new construction or buy something that's resale. Um, and also just with this competitive market, you really need someone who's gonna explain the offer process to you and describe every step of the way. To hammer that point down, it doesn't cost anything additional for you as a buyer to have professional assistance in making such a huge financial purchase in your life. Um, it is already worked into the deal. Okay, the second step is talking to a lender. Why is this so important? Well, it just gives you total awareness about your financial situation, right? So when you, when you discuss purchasing a home with a lender, several things happen. A, you find out your credit score you find out where you're strong and maybe where your weak points are. Lenders look at buyer's debt to income ratio, right? So they are giving you a budget and what you can afford based on what they would approve you on, and what you can handle as a monthly mortgage payment. So it gives you so much financial awareness and then also the ever, ever important pre-approval letter. It's so key, this is so important. You cannot start your home buying journey without a pre-approval letter because A, you'll know the budget of what you're looking for and then also when you are ready to make that offer, you need to accompany an offer with a pre-approval letter. So what the lender provides you is something that when you're out there with your real estate agent and you find the home you love, when you make that offer, they, you need to submit that with a pre-approval letter, which you get when you talk to a lender. Okay, the third step in buying a home is to target the areas in which you're looking for. Pick one or two or three cities or areas that you're looking for because Greater Cleveland is so diverse and there's so many options. There's rural areas, urban, by the water, there's more developments, some that are closer to schools, uh, you may need sidewalks, stuff like that. So picking a few areas, if you cast too wide of a net, there's gonna be paralysis by analysis and you won't be able to hone in on what you're looking for because you're spreading too wide of a net. So target a few of the areas you are looking for. Okay, the fourth step in buying a home is, this is where I come in and set you up on a search portal based on the specs that you're looking for in a home and also the areas that we just talked about, why that's so important. So what then I do is set you up on a search portal that specifically sends you and I an email with any of the homes that match your criteria in what you're looking for and the areas you're looking for. And that's huge because that keeps us ahead of the game. Okay, the fifth and final step and the most fun step is acquiring the target, right? So because you have talked to a lender, got a pre-approval letter, picked out the specs of exactly what you're looking for, picked out the areas, and now we have a search portal set up that's sent you some of the new listings, this is when we come in and acquire the target. This is when uh, making an offer is so important. The one thing I wanted to stress here of, of super high importance and priority is you really shouldn't be afraid as a buyer to make offers. There are things in place as a buyer to make sure that you know that because you're making an offer on something, you still get an opportunity to get in there and do a general home inspection and go see it again, where because you viewed it on the first showing and you loved it and potentially it's something that other people are making offers on, feel comfortable making an offer on it because it's something that we've discussed and it fits your criteria, it fits the value of what you're looking for. And also, if it gets accepted, you still get to do your due diligence period. So you, you shouldn't be afraid that, wow, I love something and now I'm making an offer on it. And that's it, it's super exciting. And then once your offer gets accepted, um, I have all kinds of informational uh, tips and advice and videos and information to send you and makes the process super smooth. Uh, but overall, you know, we just follow step by step and you know, you end up getting the home of your dreams.